Hello guys, welcome back with me. Ciao Ciao 2025. Okay, we're recording. I'll make sure first. Yeah. We're going to learn about Excel once more. It's been a while. And we're going about drop down list. There are many ways to create a drop down list and many variations. Actually, there's only a way, but you know, many variations to create it. Did. So, this is like I'm going to show you four types of drop down list, how to uh, create it or the variation of it. First, you could just. Okay, what is drop down list? That's the first question. Drop down list is the facility on Excel that you could, you know, select data from the list that you have. You don't need to type it. You could type it though, but it it only makes sense just to sell it since it's more easier and to also limit your user uh, to sell it certain data that are available. Okay, the first way to create drop down list is to type your own list like this, sell it data, and then sell it data validation here. From here, you could see in the setting part. Uh, there are actually many options here. Any value that means you could entry any value that is available. Whole number, it means you could only entry number and nothing else. Decimal, you could entry number and decimal points. Whole number, you all could only entry a whole number, you know. No decimal. Please, that what we're talking about. That time is self-explanatory text length it means you could only enter text to a number of you know length like 10 or 11 or whatever you want so we talk about list here you could create your own list simply by writing it and you know put this ampersand or not ampersand or you know this sign you know it could be comma it could be this depending on your computer setting And the list is that. And to help your user, you could make input information here. Sell out the heroes, sell out the series of the three kingdom. That is, you could make this like here. It will show up, so it help the hero, uh, the hero, the user what to entry. Because you could make an error alert about this. So stop. It will make the user not able to entry anything besides blanks or any other failure that are not available on the list. This will show what error it will show and this is uh, the error message. Blank also here, you know, you could ignore it or you could not. And drop down or not, it's here, okay? I prefer to just ignore blank, so blank means that you should not choose anything. And uh, for making things easier, you could give this color thing so user will know which need to uh, the entry give it a different colors to help user decide see it's choose Chao Chao Li Wen Sun Quan we choose whatever in the list if we choose like decide to entry other guy like Dong Zhu single error cancel mean it back to blank retry would mean we got to entry once again if we change it into like not stop but warning it's donzo here mean you could enter donzo if you choose to continue or you know it's changed it or cancelled back to the original entry so yeah you could do donzo but this will warn the user and Another option is to simply info. It means there's nothing wrong. You, you could change it. Like if you want to sell uh, Lubu here, it's okay. They just got you one change. Change it. Okay. It's a different. But if you have a lot of data, you could use this from search. Or if you, your data is uh, changing often, 
could use this uh, using switch first you need to make the data switch here I'll make an example of at least nine data here okay data validation select the switch here and you know to sell the switch just simply switch okay you could change seat or whatever you want there is the data empty. I think we uh, took a long. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Should just choose this. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. That's the data here. Number three is using table to make a dynamic switch. This is also, if you have needed it, you could add or remove whatever, you know. You could make a table to make it a dynamic. How to create a table? To create a table, simply create this, you know, use uh, this list and then from home, break ribbon, you could format it as a table and voila, table is now available for you to use. Now, how to wherever your table here you could use this indirect so I will show you how use indirect here you see block here is the table and then now it changes to table one list name okay now put this thing between them Double quote. Okay. And just copy paste this. Still save value because we're not going to use it in here. We're going to use it on the list. Save data, data validation, and then change the list into this indirect thing. And now we have the list. What good from this is you could uh increase this data by entering here Wojing like uh Lubu maybe Songjun and they now available to use Wojing Lubu and Songjun you could also delete it like I don't want to leave some in here so delete the table row and no Zuzuan Zhuang too so delete it from table row and then, voila! Start to leave it again. So, then now it's not uh, full. You could also make dynamic using offset, which we're going to talk about later. So, yeah. Next is dependent list. What is dependent list? It means one list is dependent on the other list. Like this, for example. You could choose three country, Weishu or Wu. Then you could see that we could choose Chao Chao Xiao Den Chao Ren. But if we change it into like Xu, the list is changing depending on the country that we choose. Like here. Now we choose Wu. Now there's only five uh, collection. Okay. If we delete this, cannot choose anything to make this we need first to create the master list that is the list of the country you could make it dynamic or not I use a simple thing here like this switch using switch because in my case the country will not add up so why make it dynamic okay but it depends on your data later on and you're planning and put input message so it's clear that you should choose should uh, choose this first if you want to give the file or the Excel to other user so Make sure the user will understand what to do Yeah, solid it This is as simple as it can be and then what complicated is the second list that are Dependent on the other list. So yeah first I usually do is to create my master data here we have kingdom 
This is the uh, number. It's unique for its own kingdom. You can use it A, B, C, or whatever. And then its key is a combination between kingdom and number. Okay, way one, way two, way three. Don't mess it. There is no duplicate data because if you have duplicate, they will not show up. One of them, at least. The letter one will not show up. And this is the list of data that you will have on the list. This is for Wei, this is for Xu, and this is for Wu. This will not uh, be on the search data in the drop down list, but this will be. Now we create a list like this number 1 to 20. 20 here, I mean. Uh, you could make it if you're done maxing it 10 and it will never end up again. You could make it a 10 or 20. You know, if I decide someday I will increase the data, I will not change it yet. So, you know, whatever you want. Or you could uh, make it like I have 9 data. So making it 9 is also okay. If I add it to a later, like 10, 11, I could always have the updated this. So do whatever you want. And then make a formula like this. Use VLOOKUP 22B5. It means we're going to fill up this list like way or Chu or what. If you choose way, and then combine it with the number on the left view. So here it means way number one. See, way number one is Sao Sao. But if we change here, Chu. It means that it's shoe number one, it should be Liu Bei, okay? And then this is the search data from L to M. You could increase this uh, like uh, like 100 if you want. So if you add the data, you need uh, no need to add the row or whatever you want. And then two is mean it we gotta look up for column two that is column M or heroes. And then zero mean we need to be exact, you know. If it's not exact, it will show an error. And if it's error, we add it here, we show it no data. So yeah, seven. There's no two eight. See, two on the seven. So it will show no data here. This is the first list. But second list, uh, the second uh, formula is to count how many data are available here. So uh, we're going to use offset. So we need to know how many data will be show up because if we are not doing this, then there's a bunch of no data here below. Twenty no data will show up. So we need to know how many data will show up like this. This mean okay. The formula here it's count if from this list how many data it is that show no no data. Okay. It means it's no new data. If it's no data, it will not show up. Or you could also uh, make it is new data here and the max data here. You could count. I don't know why you use this, but you could also do this too. Count A, sorry. Count A. Count A means you only count which has data on it. No data is still data. So, uh, you know, formalize whatever you want, okay? And we have this max 7. So there's 7 data. We'll change it to like rule. will show us that it only has 5 data, okay? R is no data. Second step is to create this offset value. Offset means that we're going to get the list of value. It starts from search H3. It means it start from here. 0, 0, it is row and columns. 0 means we stay in here. But if we choose 1, it will drop down to start from Luxon. And if we choose columns 1, it will start from the right of it. Okay. If it's 1-1, one, one, it means you start from E4 instead of H3. Understand? Now, now the H. The H is how much data we would taken. 
We taken five because it has no data, so choose this each one. It means we choose five data or seven in case of uh, two or we is nine. And then one because we only take this row. Okay? This is what it means. One, it's just one row. No, one row, it's one column. Okay. Then copy paste this data here. Uh, this formula, sorry. And put it on here. This, of course. Um, sorry about that. I mean this. And put the formula here. And now, you can see changing the this table is dependent on the other table not this list is dependent to this list but of course if you change it like it looks on right it's only should it be in Wu but when you choose other country it's not gonna changing or it's not gonna deal it by itself so make sure you explain the user to choose this first and then choose this and then choose don't change this you could also do it, uh, you know, automatically it's gone when you choose another country using macro, but we're not going to talk about macro right now. And it makes some of your file will be available, it will not be available for use, like in phone or something. And all certain securities, uh, office computer, sometimes they're not allowed macro to operate, so yeah. So this is the list, uh, the drop down list. You know, it's really working good if you want to use it on dashboard. You know, if you choose a one and then a bunch of data will show up under here. If you choose the other, a data will update it. You know, that's how you use it in real life usually. A bunch of data here, here, and there, and graphics. So it's usually how it works with drop down list. It often using dashboard to so use it if you want. Like you could uh, change like in this case you will show how it's war, how it's uh, intelligence in Three Kingdom games, war intelligence charms, and yeah, what well, what is the usual start of Three Kingdom? War and leadership, like. Going to choose like depending on who you, who the leader, the, uh, the heroes you choose in Trigging Them games. That's how it usually works. You could choose graphic like stat and stuff, you know, like his progression or something. Maybe his performance is like uh, winning stat or something month to month or, or whatever it's usually in the dashboard and it's pretty like so make sure you put aggregate data on that and you could put it on the phone or on whatever you know it usually work uh, best but if the data is getting big and stuff use like power bi or power free food or something and slicer it it's still good to use this you know important data that you could bring no internet connection needed and yeah work like wonder i think that's it for today's video guys hope it helps this kind of thing helped me a lot back in the day when i was uh, working i still working though but i rarely use this anymore because i'm progressing big data uh, not tic tac but data with uh, you know avi data with empiric data a lot of them so this not work like a charm if you use a data that big you need like power p foot or power bi using that for simple data or data that are aggregate already use this work like wonder thank you for watching and hope you help have a nice day